Hello Proitians. I hope you guys are doing good. Today we are going to talk about uh, cloud computing. So if we'll start with what is cloud computing, benefits of cloud computing, types of cloud computing, types of cloud services, use case of cloud computing, and then we are going to also look at the comparisons of the cloud service providers with regards to the market share. So let's go in. So cloud computing is the delivery of computing services including servers, storages, databases, networking, software, analytics and intelligence over the internet to offer faster innovation, flexible resources and economies of scale. You typically pay only for the cloud services you use, so it is a pay-as-go model. Let's talk about the benefits of cloud computing. First is cost. Cloud computing eliminates the capital expenses of buying hardware and software and setting up and running on-site fully functional data centers. Speed. Cloud computing resources can be provisioned in minutes, typically with just a few mouse clicks, giving businesses a lot of flexibility and taking the pressure off FSP planning. Global scale. The benefits of cloud computing services include the ability to scale elasticity by delivering the right amount of IT resources right when it is needed and from the right geographic location. Security. Cloud providers offer a broad set of policies, technologies, and controls that strengthen the security posture overall, helping protect your data, apps, and infrastructure from potential threats. Productivity Cloud computing removes the need of racking and stacking hardware setup, software patching, and other time-consuming IT management course so that IT can spend time on achieving more important business goals. Performance The biggest cloud computing services run on a worldwide network of secure data centers which are regularly upgraded to the latest generation of fast and efficient computing hardware. This offers several benefits over a single corporate data center including reduced network latency for applications and greater economies of scale. Reliability Cloud computing makes data backup, disaster recovery and businesses easier and less expensive because data can be mirrored at multiple redundant sites on the cloud provider's network. Types of cloud computing Public Public clouds are owned and operated by a third-party cloud service providers which deliver the computing resources like servers and storage over the internet. AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google are examples of public cloud. With a public cloud, all hardware software and other supporting infrastructure is owned and managed by the cloud provider. You access these services, manage your account using a web browser. Private. A private cloud refers to computing resources used exclusively by a single business or organization. A private cloud can be physically located on the company's on-site data center. Some companies also pay third-party service providers to host their private cloud. A private cloud is one in which services and infrastructure are maintained on a private network. Hybrid. Private clouds combine public and private clouds, bound together by technology 
that allows data and applications to be shared between them. By allowing data and applications to move between private and public clouds, a hybrid cloud gives your business greater flexibility, more deployment options, and helps optimize your existing infrastructure security and compliance. Types of cloud services. IaaS, which is called as Infrastructure as a Service. With IaaS, you get IT infrastructure servers and virtual machines, storage, networks, operating system from a cloud provider on a day as you go places. PaaS, or Platform as a Service, refers to cloud computing services that apply an on demand environment for developing. Delivery and managing software applications. PaaS is designed to make it easier for developers to quickly create or mobile apps without worrying about setting up or managing the underlying infrastructure of servers, storage, network, and databases needed for deployment. Third category is serverless. Overlapping with PaaS, serverless computing focuses on building app functionality without spending time continually managing the servers and infrastructure required to do so. The cloud providers handle the setup, capacity planning, and server management for you. Serverless architectures are highly scalable and event driven, only using resources when a specific function or trigger occurs. SaaS, Software as a Service It is a method for delivering software applications over the internet, on demand or, and typically on a subscription basis. With SaaS, cloud providers host and manage the software application and underlying infrastructure and handle any maintenance. Like software upgrades and security patches, Users connect to an application over the internet, usually with a web browser or their phone, tablet, or PC. Now, let's talk about the uses of cloud. We have we have actually have a look on what is cloud. We also discussed on what are the benefits and what are the types of cloud service providers. So let's talk about what are the uses of cloud computing. You can create a cloud native applications, test and build application, store backup to recover data, analyze data, stream audio and video, deliver software on demand, embed intelligence. So what, what are the things that you would need when you're choosing a cloud service provider? So you should be actually looking at the service provider's business health and processes. What, what is their financial health? What is their organization governance planning and risk management? Trust, business knowledge and technical know-how, compliance audit. You also should be aware of the administration support. Like what are the SLAs? What is their performance reporting, resource monitoring and configuration management, billing and accounting. You should also be aware of their technical capabilities and processes. It should be ease of deployment, management and upgrade. It should be having standard interface. You should have event management, change management, and you should be having hybrid security. Most importantly, about the security practices, they should have a security infrastructure, security policies, identity management, data backup, physical security. So all these things make a cloud service provider more uh, reliable and more trustful. Let's have a comparison on based on the various cloud service providers and the market leaders. So this is the slide about uh, 
this is a slide about the market share of the various cloud service providers on Q4 2019. As you can see, Microsoft, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, IBM, Alibaba, Salesforce, Oracle, Tencent. These are the top cloud service providers as of Q4 2019. You can see Amazon is the leader with 33% of market share, followed by Azure at 18% market share, and Google Cloud with 8%, whereas IBM Cloud at 6%. Okay, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to see you the next time. Thank you.